almost other than about 20, 25 minutes, you can plan pretty successful. I would say 10. <laughs> I think except from 10 minutes blackout, um, I think we did very well um, in this game and that of course is, is frustrating. Uh, we always aim to, 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 to play the, the perfect game. I think we were very close actually compared, compared to a lot of the other games we played this season, I think. But okay, so it was 10 big minutes uh, of blackout. But in terms of consistent performance throughout the game, I think we were very good. I think first half was almost perfect, uh, very aggressive in the high pressure uh, when we could go man man, and um, very good in a low block, fantastic defensive principles, very good uh, transitions, very dangerous there, uh, scored a very good goal, had three or four other good chances, opportunities, dangerous on set pieces. Um, so I think we were. On top, I know they had the ball more, but hey, playing against Tottenham is a, it's a massive, massive club, fantastic players. So, so very, very good. Second half, <laughs> we knew they, they they came fast. I think the first goal, which gave them the the blow, is is one player around four of our players is a ricochet, and then he can drops for him and he can pass it in. Uh, so it's the second goal that's the most disappointing. We can't on our kickoff concede in the other end, so we need to look into that. And then the third was also a ricochet uh, dropping uh, for them. But again, very pleased with the players' character, the way they kept fighting, kept staying in the game. Um, and we, we score, and in the end it's us that is closer to, uh, to, uh, to equalise. And we see them which I think was clever uh, of them, so no no disrespect. Uh, see them change to a back five. Uh, I don't think I've seen them do that the whole season. So they must respect us in many ways. Uh, but so so a lot of a lot of positive. <laughs> but it's always frustrating when you don't um, get um, points um, out of it. And Ange just said that Tottenham was sucked in to a bit of sort of wind up stuff from, from your team in terms of in the flow of the game and also Neil Moore, Neil Murphy. What, what did you make of that? Was that part of the plan to try and wind them up a bit? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what he's talking about. Neil, it, the dark celebrations and a bit of pushing... Yeah. <laughs> if that's what's irritating them, then they have a problem, I must say. Uh, isn't that fair to say? It's your opinion. Yeah, yeah, but if they're talking about a dark celebration, is the one that's winding them up. Then I think they have an issue, if you ask me. But if he's talking about us, I didn't know. I didn't know what, what. What did you say? He said. Disrupting the flow of the game. You as well. If that is that you try to press high, and that goal kicker on, on a free kick is using 30, 35, 40 seconds, they can't find a solution, and he's kicking the ball out of play. I take it. He wasn't being critical. No, no. But but I take that. He was just a bit yeah, yeah I, I agree. I think it's in general just to concentrate and play football. Thomas, the first half was a good performance. What went wrong for that 10 minutes at the start? Of the <laughs> yeah, good question. I think the, 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 the main bit is that, of course, you knew they came out. And I think that trend, half transition, the first goal, as I said, is Odogi around four players. He's shooting into ETH, it drops to him, score. And then the second goal is the one that, that irritates me the most after open play. You know, you, you normally don't concede there. Um, and then he's a good team, so um, that, that, that happens. So, unfortunately, yeah. Does it give you a bit, can you take a bit of positivity from it, though, the performance that you did give for 80 minutes of that game? Yeah, definitely. I think it was one of, of all the. Uh, from a lot of games, I think it was more complete, this performance. From, uh, definitely more complete in 80 minutes. I think there was a lot of positive, uh, uh, the high pressure, uh, the, um, uh, um, the defending low were very good. Um, I think the, the transitions were very good. And I think in spells, we kept the ball well. And the way we kept, kept going in the end of the game, uh, where we uh, thought was more on top and closer to, to equalize, I think that, that's definitely positive, yeah. Without Saman and Sergio, you keen Lewis Potter had to fill in at left back. What did you think? Very happy for that question. I think he was brilliant. 
I think he was absolutely fantastic defensively. And I think he was very good going forward and also being a threat the other way. I, I really I really liked what I, what I saw. So I think uh, the eight, 80, 80 good minutes in, in that spell, there was a lot of good performances. Let's say Keane. I think uh, Chris Nargard was brilliant. Um, um, I think the, the three centre-backs was good. Ivan Neal was good on top. Uh, I think there was a lot of positive. I think the players came coming on. I think Justin Silva looked lively. Um, um, so, yeah. Considering how long he's been out, Ivan's looking pretty sharp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he could. He... he um, yeah, I agree. The hitter is a big chance, um, and then the the big chance where he cut, cut, and then played wide. Yeah, um, I, yeah, he's been wor- he's been working very hard uh, to come back to the level. Um, and the first game he played ninety plus fifteen or something like that against Nottingham, and today also. So hopefully, though, still with more rhythm, he will come into um, uh, even sharper but I think it's 5% 5-10% ma- maximum um, I think his touches look good um, I think he yeah he's a threat that's four goals in his last four games from the United he's well known struggling for goals before before this year do you see this as a helpful patch or is he sort of turning it around now is he, is he seen it as what sorry is he, is he turning his, what do you put this turn around down ah this yeah. turn around his to yeah, mm, you know sometimes players um, fit in some clubs and sometimes they fit in other clubs. So I think there can be different variations. And sometimes you get that confidence back, uh, and that, that you know you are a good player and you you can perform. But of course, I'm very pleased, as you say, four goals in in four games, and uh, and he's getting on the end of it. I think there's also a few situation in the box I don't know if a set piece or second ball where he actually landed on it and if he have a first time finish I think potentially a goal or at least a, a big chance so so no he's I think he's he's growing um, yeah, you can you can see that and throughout his career he's he's often a bit of a nuisance for the opposition is that one of his strengths? <laughs> strength and weakness like anything else no but I think is what, what we are good at if uh, let's say we are good at high pressure uh, so that's very good, but that can also be the weakness if they're running through it uh, sometimes. And if you uh, are good at something, um, I don't know how to describe it. Um, uh, whatever, I don't know how you describe it, being the head of uh, other opponents. Maybe that's a good thing, but also important to focus on your own game. I think that's. I'm not. I'm not saying he's good or bad at it, but I think with anything else, it's it's the strength or weakness. Return. Has you noticed the impact he might have had on his teammates? Performances over the last couple of games from them don't look like players who should be down in 15th. Uh, no, I agree. <laughs> I also think if you look at all those uh, so-called stats, uh, which is not the only thing we should look at. I think there's much more into it, um, but I think it's a good indicator that we performed two more points we, we performed we should have had more points and being uh, a bit higher and not uh, quite a bit higher on the table but it's also about putting the ball in the back of the net and avoiding it going in, in the back of our own net uh, but um, I think I think maybe in the five games we lost maybe we lost a little bit of the confidence and a little bit and then when a top player is coming stepping into on the, on the pitch um, that that gives confidence, and he's he's good to make his teammates better uh, in general. So of course, it's, it's helped. And uh, deadline day tomorrow. Could you give us an update on the situation with Antonio Nusa, and if there's any other news? Um, we hope to get one more player in, um, but let's see. I'm I'm in doubt if it um, will succeed. Okay, any ideas of who that might be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, but uh, I'll not tell it. I, I like to speak about the players that uh, when we have signed and everything is fine, but uh, not not anyone else. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Uh, we've seen a very nice Brentford lately in the past couple of weeks, but before the Forest game, you couldn't grab a single point in the Premier League. How did you time things around? Did, did you think at the time it was just a 